then uh, we'll officially end the program for today. Uh, this was our sixth uh, Cloud Native uh, WebAssembly Day, and I just want to thank um, everybody for coming out. A uh, huge thanks goes out to our CNCF program team. Uh, Evie uh, makes all of this work uh, and makes it all easy uh, with an incredible support team. But also a huge thanks to Dale uh, on audio and the rest of the production and support uh, crew here. Um, uh, Tristan, everybody, you guys did a phenomenal job today keeping us on track. A huge thanks uh, to the program committee, which is a volunteer position, by the way, thankless. Uh, and you too could volunteer for a thankless job if you'd like, because it's time to start recruiting for WebAssembly Day EU and for WASMCon 2024, um, which is just around the corner. Um, uh, so huge thanks to the whole program committee for all reviewing uh, over 65 talks uh, for WebAssembly Day. It's really hard to pull together a program like this, but I hope that um, you agree and you'll share your perspective on why, we th why I think this was the best WebAssembly day we've uh, had yet. A huge thanks to our speakers. Um, Eduardo, you crushed it. I really, I really think we slotted you in the right spot. Just bring us on home. Uh, and I think um, you are most deserved of a beer. And I think uh, the other person that might be most deserved of, of award is the most mentioned person on the floor today, which would be Intel's Andrew Brown, uh, basically the Kevin Bacon of WASM today. You got mentioned about a dozen times or more uh, called out for your great work in the runtime. I had a funny story where one of our investors reached out and he was like, who the hell is this Andrew Bound guy? He's in everything. He's in WASI Threads. He's in WASI NN. He's in ML. Um, so thank you uh, for being such an amazing community member and so generous um, uh, with your time. Uh, just one quick moment, uh, just to pause for a second on how far we've come. WebAssembly is almost a decade old. Uh, and it's now that we've finally had our Docker moment where all around the talks today and the conference, you saw people from different companies, from different runtimes, all aligning on the Better Together story, which is a single artifact that we can build an ecosystem around that is portable uh, and, and takes advantage of all of the WebAssembly inherent properties. So my view has been that WebAssembly, and specifically the WebAssembly component model, is not just the next big abstraction in tech, it's the final abstraction because we can finally push all the rest of this complexity, start with Bailey's toilet bowl from this morning uh, and push it all the way down into the runtime. Developers uh, can have a better life and we can finally have technology that truly works better for everybody. Um, Componentize has become the new containerize. You saw components today run on Wasm Cloud, on VMware Wasm Labs, uh, uh, a Wasm worker server, on Fermion Spin, and uh, on Michael Wands, um, uh, is one of the big contributors to another CNCF project, the Wasm Edge Runtime. Um, I talked to, and the questions I asked for Istio and Red Panda, maybe uh, WebAssembly components coming soon there too. So I just love to see the community coalescing around something that we can all work together on. Last year, we had uh, Kelsey Hightower come out, and his message to us was that in the container wars, we competed too early. And if you were a veteran of those wars, you know that early on people were forking runtimes and trying to lay out um, a proprietary path forward. WebAssembly is already open source. It's already community led. And it's something we can work together on and be, make better together. Um, uh, please join us right outside the hall here for an evening reception uh, from 5.30 to 7. And finally, a call to action. Um, uh, uh, we are accepting applications for program committee for uh, WebAssembly Day EU. Uh, and a huge shout out to two uh, uh, related events. Uh, WASMIO uh, is on, on track for 2024 in Europe. It was phenomenal last year, strong recommend. It's about two weeks before KubeCon in Paris, where we're gonna have another WASM Day. And then of course, uh, we've already booked WASMCon in Seattle uh, for August of 2024. So we've uh, uh, already got a huge year planned uh, for WebAssembly in 2024. Let's make it bigger and better than ever. Thank you so much for coming today. Have a wonderful KubeCon. Bye.